we're asking for standards of behavior that it would be uh, wonderful to expect, but that no serious man actually does expect. A uh, hundred years of fraudulent drawings suggesting embryological affinities that don't exist. That's just what I would expect if biologists were struggling to maintain a position of power in a secular democratic society. Let, let's be reasonable. We're all sophisticated men and women here. I mean, the, the, the popular myth of science is a uniquely self-critical institution and scientists as men who would rather be consumed at the stake rather than fudge their data. I mean, that's, that's okay for a PBS special, but that's not the real world. That's not what's taking place. I mean, people fudge the data whenever they can get away with it. Uh, and they, they will uh, commit themselves to fraudulent drawing just so long as they're convinced that no one's looking over their shoulder. And it's, it's unrealistic, unsophisticated, and unwise to expect people to do anything other than that. Think of your last traffic ticket. Yeah, you bet, officer. I was doing 98 miles per hour <laughs> in a 30 mile an hour school zone. When was the last time you told the cop that? And yet we expect the biologist to say exactly the same thing about uh, drawings which have been his stock and trade for the last hundred years. The much more relevant question is how, how is it that we live in a society where uh, the point of view, the splendidly cyn cynical point of view I'm adumbrating right now is not common wisdom and we don't look more closely at what these people say.